Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, how are FSTs used in court? FSTs are a series of abnormal activities which are allegedly designed to allow a police officer, many times who took nothing more than a 40-hour course way back when in the police academy, to determine whether or not your normal faculties are impaired. Your performance on the exams, as related by the police officer, are offered both in support of the charge and as circumstantial evidence of your guilt. But how FSTs are used in court depends upon whether or not they've been videotaped. Nowadays, more and more police officers are wearing body cams. And if your DUI officer has a body camera, then there should be a real-time, forward-facing video and audio recording of everything that was said and done during your FSTs. Sometimes there's a dash cam rolling in the police squad car, and your officer may or may not have a synced audio recorder so that everything that was done, and possibly everything that was said during your FSTs, is recorded, although not necessarily from a head-on angle. Other times, there's no recording of the FSTs on the roadside, but there may be at the breath-testing facility, and in those circumstances, the cops might offer you another chance to perform FSTs on tape at the station. Still, other times, there's no recording at all. And so the only proof of the FSTs is going to be the police officers in court and sworn testimony. Whether there's a videotape or not, the officer who gave you the FSTs is going to have to take the witness stand and testify. First, the assistant state attorney is going to elicit testimony that's designed to bolster the officer's inevitable conclusion that you were impaired, and then your lawyer is going to get an opportunity to try and shred that police officer and his or her conclusions. What your jury ultimately believes is anyone's guess. But what's certain is that if there is a video, then the jury's going to see it and hear it, and that video will not lie. So if there is a video in your case, please watch it. And when you do, try your best to be objective. I always suggest my clients have three people watch that video and then give them independent opinions. An honest assessment of your performance of FSTs on video is going to be a likely sign of how jury's reaction to it. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.